Welcome back to the Billy Corner. In this week's episode, I'm going to do an in-depth review of the Predator Revo shaft. To start, carbon fiber shafts has been quite a hot topic in the pool world recently. A lot of professionals are actually switching over to carbon fiber shafts due to its benefits. And I have a feeling partly due to sponsorship requirements. Now there are quite a few pros and cons with the Predator Revo shaft, but let's go and start off with a deflection test first. All right guys, I actually took out the time to draw out these lines on my pool table here. Each one of these lines equates to one inch of cue ball deflection. I measured these out with a micrometer, so they should be fairly accurate. I'm gonna hit the cue ball with one tip of English with soft, medium, and hard. Hopefully this unscientific test will show you how much deflection this shaft has. Let's go and get to it. This is soft. That's about three quarters. This is medium. That's also about three quarters of an inch. And this is hard. And that's about an inch. Now I'm gonna show you guys a standard wood shaft and show you guys the differences. This is soft. That's about an inch. This is medium. That's about an inch and a quarter. This is hard. And this is about two and a half inches. There are definitely some pros and cons to the Revo shaft, but let's go and talk about the pros first. What a lot of people like about carbon fiber shafts is that it's a lot less maintenance. I mean, the cue is ding resistant, warp resistant, and stays clean for a really long time. I've had the shaft for about half a year now, and I just wipe it down with a microfiber towel, and it just always stays smooth and clean. As you guys saw with my very unscientific test right here, the Revo shaft has very low deflection. I like the fact that it's 12.9 millimeter, and you don't have to have a really thin shaft in order to have low deflection. I also really like the taper on the shaft. It has a really long pro taper that feels really good in the hand, and for some reason when I'm shooting with it, it just feels really straight because of the taper. I'm actually really particular with my cues and I just hate it when the shaft doesn't fit flush with the butt. But when I first put this on my Rundy cue right here, it actually fit pretty perfectly. For those who are wondering, I took a micrometer and I measured the shaft of the Revo and it comes out to about 21.5 millimeters. So hopefully that helps you out. And a final pearl about these shafts is these shafts are actually made right here in the USA, which is awesome. Let's go and talk about the cons of the shaft. I think one of the things I hate most about the Revo shaft is the tinkiness of the hit. It just doesn't sound very pleasant. Let me go and demonstrate. I hope you guys are able to hear this. I'm just gonna hit a couple shots and show you. Take a listen to a solid maple shaft with an ivory ferrule. This is a Mike Lambros cue. With the Mike Lambros cue, it just sounds a lot more crisp. The shaft also doesn't have a white ferrule, and I just feel like a lot of people aren't used to that and may have some trouble adjusting. When I first got the shaft, it came with a yellow Predator Victory tip, and I just really didn't like that tip. It just didn't have to hit that like, it mushroomed on me, and that's why I just swapped it for a Kamui. Now these Revo shafts are ding and scratch resistant, but that doesn't mean they're indestructible. You can damage these shafts, and once they're damaged, you can't really fix them. And finally, I think the biggest con about these shafts is that it's $500. I mean, that's a pretty hefty price for just a shaft. And so that's my review of the Predator Carbon Fiber Revo shaft. I really hope you found this video helpful. Now we've had over 1600 subscribers since the last video, and I just wanna thank everyone for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.
pressure. 